girls remember last time i had mentioned that i'll tell you uh, another interesting story do you remember what story was that the, the name, name of hanuman how hanuman got his name hanuman right do you all remember the birth story of hanuman that i mentioned last time yes shall i ask you some questions from there yes okay so here we go who are the hmm, parents of hanuman kesari and anjana very good and what are some of the other names of hanuman anjana vayuputra pavanaputra very good anjana pavanaputra and vayuputra okay now let's see why hanuman is called hanu hanuman okay now the word hanuman is composed of two words hanu which means cheeks and man which means disfigured or not properly formed now why do you think a person would be named hanuman which means a person with disfigured cheeks mm. any ideas maybe he was born with them no actually when he was born he was called anjaneya so hanuman was a name that was given to him later in his life did and he eat a lot yeah. that's a wonderful guess yeah he probably did eat a lot and his cheeks just became huge right <laughs> <laughs> Okay so now let's see how and why Hanuman got the name Hanuman. So the story starts when Hanuman was a child and that time his name was Anjaneya. So one day Anjaneya was sleeping in his bed. Early in the morning as the sun was rising Anjaneya woke up and through the window in his room he saw this bright orange color sun up in the sky and Anjaneya was very very hungry. and he thought that was a laddu in the sky <laughs> oh <laughs> i'm seeing a yummy yummy laddu in the sky i can't wait to eat it anjaneya exclaimed clapping his hands okay and uh, off he went a high leap a high jump into the sky flying What? away <laughs> and to reach the sun so he can eat the laddu <laughs> and we all know that anjaneya was none other than the reincarnation of lord shiva himself so even as a child he had magical powers he could fly high in the sky now surya deva like every other single day he was happily and peacefully glowing away to glory in the uh, sky up in the sky and suddenly he spotted this monkey <laughs> flying towards him in his direction and surya deva just smiled to himself thinking silly monkey little dasi know that if he comes anywhere near me my heat is enough to burn him to ashes poor monkey he is going to die but anjaneya was not any ordinary monkey right he grew bigger and bigger in size as he reached nearer and nearer the sun and surprisingly the heat of the sun which is enough to kill any living being in this universe had no effect on anjaneya anjaneya kept on flying but seeing this now surya deva was a little scared and alarmed oh no that monkey has showing no signs of uh, stopping he is going to come and swallow me so he started crying to lord indra asking for indra's help indra indra help me help me rescue me somebody is coming to eat do you know who do you all know who lord indra is the yes. king of gods the, the king, king of gods and where does indra live Heaven. in the heavens so indra from the heavens heard the surya deva cry out loud for his help indra indra help me help me somebody is coming to swallow me imagine the plight of poor surya deva right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so lord indra what he does immediately jumps on the uh, elephant climbs on his elephant this elephant's name is airavata okay that's the mount of lord indra so he climbs on the elephant and leaves the heavens and comes towards uh, dashing towards surya deva and on his way itself lord indra saw this huge giant monkey yes. flying towards the sun and lord indra accelerated towards this monkey and said stop there who are you and what are you doing what do you think you're doing flying towards the sun right and anjaneya replied very calmly he said i am anjaneya the son of anjana and kesari and that is a laddu <laughs> <laughs> and i am going to eat the laddu <laughs> so lord indra for a very small short while he was actually amused at the innocence of this young child and lord indra try to explain to the child oh my child that's not laddu that is sun surya deva he is the source of life and light in this entire planet or universe you cannot eat him you cannot swallow him but anjaneya was also determined he paid no attention to uh, lord indra he continued his journey towards sun oh, no. <laughs> trying to eat the laddu <laughs> oh no 
so lord indra went behind him warning him several times child oh child oh monkey oh giant monkey please don't go there is the sun <laughs> but indra continued to ignore him and finally lord indra got really angry he grew furious because seeing the lack of respect this child has for his words and what did lord indra do he has his weapon the thunderbolt vajra he threw the vajra at the monkey at anjaneya vajra directly hit the cheeks of the monkey disfiguring him making him unconscious and he fell down to the earth oh. and as he fell down to the earth he became smaller and smaller and smaller and by the time he fell down to the earth he was the same size of a child monkey a loud thud came as he fell down the earth and vayudeva heard this sound and to his shock when he looked the one who is falling down to the ground was none other than his own son hanuman hanuman or anjaneya and he came dashing uh, to his help by his side okay anjaneya he looked at this unconscious child and he was angry and he roared louder than the thunder okay and he said who in this world would have the courage to do this to my son lord indra had returned to the heavens and surya deva as usual as happy and peacefully <laughs> glowing away to glory in the sky and both of them didn't bother to respond to vayudeva vayudeva grew even more angry and he's like why should i do my duty and give wind and air to this earth if nobody even bothers to respond to my query my my question right and saying this with great affection he took hanuman in his hands and went down to patal loka patal loka is the world beneath the grounds of the earth and he stayed in patal loka now what's happening on the earth on the rest of the world there is no air and wind plants animals humans trees everybody choked and they struggle to breathe there's no air and wind how do you live and one by one every living being started to die surya deva got really upset because he knew the entire fiasco was started by surya deva so he wanted to provide a solution to this problem so surya deva went to lord brahma to ask for his advice brahma immediately summoned lord indra and brahma was angry at indra he is, he shouted at indra and said how could you indra how could you how could you hurt an innocent small boy how could you even hit him with your vajra and indra he hung his head in shame and he said i do repent my actions i'm extremely sorry about it so what what did brahma and indra do brahma took indra and off they went down to patal loka patal loka to somehow beg for mercy to lord vayu to vayu deva and bring him back to earth because animals were dying on the earth right so brahma and indra went down to patal loka but vayu deva was very angry still because his child fell there fell there unconscious so vayu deva said nothing doing i am not coming anywhere unless my child becomes okay so brahma also had divine powers right using brahma's divine powers brahma uh, cured anjaneya of all his wounds all the wounds were healed anjaneya sat up all happy and chirpy and healthy <laughs> and in order to please vayudeva even more brahma raised his hands and blessed anjaneya saying hereby i bless you that no weapon in this world no matter how powerful it is would have any effect on you you would be very powerful no weapon can cause any harm to you saying this lord brahma blessed him and now lord indra also wanted to please vayudeva so indra also raised his hands and blessed anuman saying that oh hanuman i hereby bless you that you would be immortal no death can touch you hanuman can live forever and also saying this lord indra continued saying oh my child anjaneya from here on you would also be called as hanuman because it was my weapon vajra that caused disfigurement to your cheeks so hereby i name you hanuman so from then onwards Han- anjaneya is called as hanuman and saying this all the the, uh, the lords indra and surya deva along with vayudeva and hanuman went up from patallok back to the earth 
and Hanuman continued to live very mischievously and had many more interesting stories and exciting stories. So this is the story of how Hanuman got his name. Hanuman. Hanuman. Namaste. Namaste.